Directions. Now you will hear some conversations. Each conversation is followed by three or more questions. Choose the best answer to each question and mark the letter of the correct answer on your answer sheet. You will hear each conversation only one time. Number 11. Questions 11 through 13. Listen to a conversation between two students. I'd love to play hockey with you sometime. That sounds good. I've never played before. It's my favorite sport. What are the basic rules? Well, you need five players per team, plus a goalie. What does the goalie do? His job is to stop the puck from going in the net. Is that important? It's the most important thing in the entire game. That's how you win? Correct. The team with the most goals wins. Can there be ties? Yes. You can tie, but you could also play a shootout. You can pick either one? Yes. You have to decide before the game starts, however. What about the championship game? What about it? You can't tie a championship game. You need a winner. That is true. What do you do then? In a championship game, you play until someone breaks the tie. How long could that last? It would last as long as it takes for a team to break the score. Oh, that makes sense. Now answer the questions. 11. What's the main topic of the conversation? Twelve. What does the boy say about the goalie? Thirteen. What does the boy imply when he says, Yes, you can tie, but you could also play a shootout? Number 12. Questions 14 through 17. Listen to a conversation between two students. Do you want to watch a movie tonight? Yes, I do. What kind of film do you want to see? I don't know. Something scary sounds good. Yeah, it does. I love horror films. Me too. Why do you think that is? It's because it's so fictional. It allows us to break loose. That is true. Plus, it's always good to have a good scare. What's your favorite horror movie? I love the Nightmare on Elm Street movies. Those are terrifying. I also like the Stephen King movie. Oh yeah, me too. My favorite King movie is the Shawshank Redemption. Wow, that's my all-time favorite movie. It really is amazing. I love quoting that movie. It's inspiring. Yeah, it may not be a horror film, but it is still epic. Have you read the short story it's based on? No. You should. What book is it in? It's in a Stephen King book called Different Seasons. Well, I'm off to the store to buy it. Now answer the questions. 14. What is the main topic of the conversation? 15. Why does the boy love to watch horror films? 16. What can be inferred about the students' interests in movies? 17. What will the boy probably do next? 13. Questions 18 through 21. Listen to a conversation between two friends at school. Do you recycle? Yeah, I do. How about you? I only recycle glass. I recycle everything. I recycle glass, paper, and plastic. That's cool. I guess you care about the environment a lot. I do. I think people pollute way too much. 
I don't know a lot about pollution. Well, there are many different kinds of pollution. Oh, really? Like what? Yes, air pollution and light pollution are two of them. How do people prevent pollution? Well, driving less and using clean forms of energy prevent pollution. Don't cigarettes pollute? Yes, they do. People should be more considerate. I think people should do more to protect the environment. Me too. The government should also be involved. I guess so, but it's really the people's responsibility. What about businesses? Businesses have gotten more mindful of the environment. Yes, they have. I'm glad that car industries make hybrids now. Me too. Electric energy and solar energy are really cool. We should use solar energy more. It's so smart. I don't know. I think electric energy is cooler. Both of them are necessary. Why do you think that? Well, with all this overpopulation, humans are using up their resources. This is true. We have to start looking for more. Yeah, overpopulation is really a big problem. It's a big problem for people and for nature. What do you think we should do about it? Sadly, there isn't much we can do. At least people are looking for alternate forms of energy. Yeah, some people think worrying about it is pointless. I disagree with them. Me too. They care too much about standards of living. Well, you can have a high standard of living and still care about the environment. I completely agree. Now, answer the questions. 18. What is the main topic of the conversation? Nineteen. What can be inferred about the environment we are living in? Twenty. What does the girl imply when she says, "Sadly, there isn't much we can do"? Twenty-one. All the following are things people will probably do if they want to protect the environment, except. Number fourteen. Questions twenty-two through twenty-five. Listen to a conversation between two friends. Wow. This festival is tons of fun. Yeah, I'm so glad we came. I've had so much cotton candy. I had three hot dogs today. Wow, that's a lot. I'm surprised you haven't gotten sick. Me too, especially after riding that spinning ride. That was a lot of fun. I liked the Ferris wheel too. Yeah, you could see for miles and miles at the top. Yeah, it's a good thing we're not scared of heights. Festivals are so cool. Yeah, I agree. Let's go see if we can find our friends. Okay, I think I saw them at the arcade. But we already went to the arcade. I thought it was boring. Yeah, so did I. Let's just go back to the food section. Don't they have some cool gift shops too? Yeah, I think they do. I want a necklace. I want to get some souvenirs. I also want to get some cool things for my friends. Maybe we should go play some games and win some stuff for our friends. That would be fun. Those games are hard, though. It's worth a shot. All right, let's go. Now answer the questions. Twenty-two. What does the boy imply when he says, "Wow, that's a lot. I'm surprised you haven't gotten sick." Twenty-three. Why doesn't the boy go to the arcade? Twenty-four. What will the boy and the girl do in the gift shops? Twenty-five. What will the boy and the girl probably do next?